Oh, yeah. It's Deputy Prime Minister, proud northerner and basic instinct enthusiast, Angela Rayner, and welcome to another No Brainer with Angela Rayner. Now, as you can see, I am still here in the Us Labour's underground bunker. That is because our Kia wants me to keep a bit of a close eye on our Rachel because she keeps saying things that are upsetting the farmers. So our Kia said, look, just put her on a charging pod and make sure she doesn't communicate with anyone else. So that's what we've been doing. Now, today was Prime Minister's questions and I think it went very, very well. We did have a slight fashion faux pas that happened at the beginning, which I think we dealt with very subtly. Uh, I don't know why it happened, but our Rachel was wearing a blue suit jacket like this. Uh, I was wearing mine and then Lucy Powell came along who was sat at the other side of me and she was wearing an identical blue jacket so I took mine off uh, but I still felt as though we looked a bit like a budget girl band on the front bench so we subtly swapped out our Lucy and brought in our Ellie. Now our Ellie is our Rachel's sister so I was sat between the Reeves sisters and our Ellie is blonde she looked a little bit like Kevin Katona so we did look like a budget girl band so it was a little bit embarrassing and I thought, well, we'll move on from that quickly. And then Daisy Cooper stands up and she's wearing a blue suit jacket as well. It was absolutely ridiculous. We're going to have to send out a notice, I think, to the WhatsApp groups just to find out what everybody's wearing before PMQs because we can't have that again. It's very off-putting. But it was very successful. I decided to really go for it and use all of those classic Labour buzzwords like £22 billion black hole. It's always a winner and 14 years of Tory failure. And I did it because I was facing off against Alex Burkhart for the first time. And I have to say, he's got a right gob on him. He was really getting quite feisty and a bit shouty. I don't think there was any need for him to come in that hard on his first time. It was just a little bit desperate, I thought. He was bordering on committing a non-crime hate incident. I I'm tempted to report him. It was just a bit much. Uh, then we had to hear from that turncoat Lee Anderson who was talking some nonsense and I put him in his place by reminding him he'd gone from the us Labours over to the Tories and then across to reform. So that told him. And then right towards the end, we heard from Graham Stewart who decided to take a swipe at our Rachel about her CV and he did it in a not-so-subtle way talking about somebody who'd gone to prison for writing something that wasn't correct on the CV and that someone had lost their job. And I thought, where are you going with this? I think we know what you're trying to say here. You're not very subtle. But I put him in his place. And to be honest, I think we came out on top in that PMQs. Everybody was really, really impressed with how we handled it. Uh, speaking of impressive, our Kia is doing fantastic out in Brazil. He had a very important and very casual meeting with... Justin Trudeau and the pair of them could not look more like a couple of alphas if they tried. They did a bit of a press conference. They were sat there with their zero percent alcohol beers on the table uh, and they just looked, they looked relaxed with each other and they talked about the important relationship. And I thought, there you go. Our Kia is impressing everybody right now. He can go to Brazil and show the world that us Labour's are going from strength to strength. I'll see you again on another No Brainer with Angela Rayner. But where are you going with this? I think we know what you're trying to say here. You're not very subtle.